So, I launched this game here because I remembered that I upgraded my processor. I feel like Star Citizen is the crisis <laughs> of this generation or like of this era. This is the only game that I have that I have that I know I most likely can't run. But I've upgraded my uh my my processor to a 5900X a Ryzen 9 5900X from a Ryzen 9 3900X and I was wondering maybe is it going to be playable because last time it it wasn't I have a 3080 RTX 3080 graphics card and I was like that should be enough right no it wasn't enough unless unless somebody knows something about settings and stuff like that that I need to know to make this game run very cleanly and smoothly because otherwise I I have I have no idea so let's click on persistent universe oh I guess there was a wipe I assume maybe I, I don't know how this works I don't really play this game like that um so look my gender my guy um cycle through the heads uh Oddly, I feel like that's me. <laughs> that that's crazy. That head is crazy. Uh Huh. Uh, these eyes this look I'm going to go with this one though. I'm going to I'm going to just do it. I'm going to just do it. I'm going to go with this one. Begin blending. whatever save i don't even think i changed anything play the tutorial yes uh before starting your adventure in star citizen learn the basics of playing the game uh playing through the tutorial will uh, automatically set your primary residence to uh new babbage on microtech you will also be unable to access your purchase ships until you have completed the tutorial uh estimated duration 30 minutes okay so <laughs> i most likely will have to make an Azeron profile for this. I, so this is, so like I've been posting, I think I've been posting a bunch of stuff about like, you know, Azeron profiles. I've been trying to get into a, a new game or or mess around with another game and I'm like making a new profile for it. And I feel like making a new profile for it is easier than, um, well, not really. Kind of, maybe if you make a default profile, like if you were to make a default profile with all the buttons, like, separate or whatever and then like you go into um the game like you can do it to one of two ways you can make a default profile and keep all the buttons the same all the time go into the game and then um uh, uh like go set each thing to whatever button right like so like you you click you click jump right in the in the in-game keybinds menu and then you press what you want jump to be on your Azeron. Now, you could run into the problem where now if your Azeron breaks or if your Azeron goes down, you don't have like a default setting or whatever. And you don't have a way to have a profile to bring it back, right, to, to what it was. So like if you want to play the game and you have no Azeron, you got to default out the, 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 the keys and then redo it again if you either get another Azeron or you fix yours or whatever, right? So the way I do it is I make profiles for every game. I just rather do it that way because if my Azeron breaks or goes bad or I can't use it, then it's a default profile on the game and I can just use my keyboard, right? Like if I have to. So anyway, we're going to play the tutorial. Um, uh, server location, USA, uh, play game, character customization, find a guy. This will open the browser window. Okay, Persistent Universe, uh, Primary Resonance Selection, Persistent Universe, New Babbage. Uh, play game, select, uh, confirm. Okay, let's, let's see if it's playable. 
I, I, I hope that I hope that it is. I hope that this is enough horsepower uh, in my computer to throw at it to 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 play the game. If not, um, I'm I'm most likely gonna upgrade my my graphics card, but not not specifically to play this game, but in the future, you know, up up graphics card upgrade, and then uh, I should be fine, right? Probably not. Like I feel like this game is always like improving and and getting better and it's always like and i'm always like chasing the standard frame rate right okay so it kind of already looks better than it used to um i'm not sure what it's going to feel like stuff is loading in tutorial first steps exit bed okay huh how do i exit the bed I think they would tell me okay i exited the bed oh 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 this this looks this seems this seems pretty playable oh. okay so let me go to options let's go to graphics um it's on borderless i think that's fine you have everything on medium quality medium which is crazy that that's medium uh seems to look pretty good camera motion blur camera and object motion blur i i let's turn motion blur off right um v-sync no we're gonna let's come out of here okay that kind of that kind of feels that kind of feels better a little bit like i think right um anyway let's go to controls mouse smooth mouse acceleration off uh ads scaling is scaling enabled sure mouse sensitivity let's bring mouse sensitivity down a little bit that also might make it feel a little better uh let's go back yeah, it does make it feel a little smoother. Sometimes if your mouse is moving too quickly, um, it makes it feel worse, I feel like. In, in my opinion, it makes it feel worse. Um, so, a little bit more. 12 key bindings. Okay, so. <laughs> they have everything on here, which is pretty damn good. Um... Damn, man. Can we, like, turn off oh, flight controls on, on foot controls? Here we go. On foot controls. Okay. Crouch is control. That's set by default already. So, yeah, most of my things are, or the, my default settings are, are pretty good. Um, we're, we're just gonna, we're gonna move forward. Okay, let's, oh, check your journal. Um, check your journal, hit menu F. Okay, so we need, we need F. Can I not get, why can I not bring up the, why can I not bring up the my alt tab out of the game? I'm trapped. I'm trapped like it's freaking sword art. Okay, so we're gonna have to focus Hit menu interactive mode. Um, tutorial, first up, check your journal. Where's my, where's my journal button? Key bindings. Where, where, oh, where is my journal?
gamepad? Oh, they have a gamepad thing? Advanced control customization. Holy crap. Uh... Social general. Emotes. Interactions. Inner thought. Bro. I just want to. I just want to open my journal. Interaction mode. Activate inner thought. Oh, F1. F1, activate your mo Moby glass. Ah, we found it. Okay. Welcome to Star Citizen. You have just stepped 300, I mean, <laughs> you have just stepped 930 years into, the, into a future where humanity has spread across the stars uh, under the rule of the United Empire of Earth, uh, the UEE, while many humans spend their lives never leaving their home world, uh, there are those who choose to travel abroad. Uh, oh, excuse me, travel aboard advanced spaceships, uh, braving outlaws, hostile aliens, and hazardous conditions to seek their fortune. Currently, you are in New Babbage on Microtech, the uh, the fourth planet. In this Stanton system, a great distance from humanity's origin in the Soul system, the four planets uh, in the system are owned by uh, micro or mega corporations, uh, who each possess a plant or excuse me, each purchased a planet from the UEE and now govern their own uh, region of space. They are Hurston Dynamics, Crusader Industries, Art Corp, and Microtech. Uh, New Babbage is a luxurious. Uh, domed city that serves as a as the uh, corporate headquarters microtech the leading computer and software developer in the empire best known for making the moby glass the thing on our arm uh from here the tutorial will guide you to port tressler the space station in orbit above the planet that can serve as your gateway to further exploration of the stanton system all right Oh, this is so much more playable. This, this is, I didn't leave the room yet. So, but this is just way better than the game was running um, when, when I tried to play it before. Um, big ups to uh, upgrading your CPU. Uh, what the f did I just do? Oh, that's my inventory. Oh, okay. Um. Or armor. Wait. Harry, swap. Swap item. No. Nope. Don't drop it. Got a bunch of stuff. an F. Eat food, drink water. I'm, I, I don't even see the thing in the middle of the screen. Like, just don't even see the thing in the middle of the screen. Drink water. I kind of pressed the fire button. Okay. All right. Eat. You just drop the water on the floor. All right. Equip your helmet. Uh, press F, the interaction mode. Press it, equip the helmet in your, in your hab or use your inventory. Okay. Okay. Go inventory. All right. 
tutorial interaction mode. Left bracket to accept, right bracket to decline. Uh, wait, wait. <clears throat> tutorial first outing, primary objectives. Well done, the first part behind you. You should now have some basic familiar familiarity with the movement controls, managing your hunger and thirst, and some of the core functionality of your Moby Glass, name, uh, namely the contract manager and your journal. This next section will help you familiarize yourself with the new Babbage and take your uh, take you to the visit the Kel Kelto, a weapon store near here in Babbage. Uh, you can shop there and uh, at other stores like it using United Earth credits. During the alpha phase of Star Citizen development, we'll be using a currency called AUEC Alpha United Earth credits. This is a temporary currency, significantly. Uh, specifically designed for testing uh, the in-game economy and balance. Okay. All right. I keep hitting escape to go back, and I don't think that's what I'm supposed to do. So, okay. Um... All right. I figured out how to get out of <laughs> the game so that I could get to the Azeron software. I don't know why, but it won't let me press the Windows button. I, so I just made it windowed mode, and then so I can get to the uh, so I can get to the game. We're gonna go to controls. We no no key bindings. Okay, key bindings. For now, let's just set like uh, a couple of things. So inventory is set. Uh, weapon weapon customized. We need F. Quick interact. We need an F button. So we're gonna put F here. Boom. That's probably like the most important button that I needed. Um, free look. Uh, we'll put Z here for free look. Um, uh, what else we have? Tab. We have. Do we have a tab button over here? Tab. We're gonna put map here. We're gonna put tab here. Uh, oops, that is not the tab button. Tab. Um, star map F two Moby glass. We need a Moby glass button, so we need F one. Um, I'm gonna put Moby glass up here on my uh, flat button. I'm gonna put Moby glass up here F one, and then F two. I'm gonna put star map up here. Um, primary one, two, and three. One, two. Three and then four gadget. Four is gadget. Cycle melee. I'm gonna put gadget here. Yeah, let, uh, let me name these. Gadget. I know what that's gonna be. That is some of them I don't have to name because I know what they are. Free look. Um Moby glass star map. Um, flashlight random. Um, flashlight. We're gonna put. I guess we could put flashlight here. T. I feel like I'm gonna need it at some point. Um, we need anything else right now? Uh, force respawn. I can just reach on my keyboard for that. Accept invites. I can reach on my keyboard for that. Mission item. Cycle melee. Uh, five, I guess. We can put five here for now. Um, I think we have mostly everything else. Um, we did need the bracket, right? Bracket. Um, that should be good. Okay, wait, let me, I gotta put it back on. Might as well put it on full screen, because it's not like... It's not like I can, um, 
get out of let me, let me try let me try borderless one more time maybe it was on full screen and like there's some bug or something let's try this nope still doesn't work whatever uh i'll just go with borderless for now so we're gonna open this right no okay here we go open door to tab all right okay we're moving. We're moving. There's a bottle of water on the ground. Uh, your first outing. Okay. Where are we going? What are we doing? Do I go downstairs? I assume we go downstairs. Fire cabinet. Medical kit. I'll call the elevator. It's over there on the side. Wait, what? Take the elevator to the lobby. That was fast. View the area map. Is it on M? Enter the elevator and use interaction mode F on the control panel to change food. I did that already. I, I did that already. I'm on... I'm on the floor, right? I'm on... I'm in the lobby, right? Oh, I'm only on... Oh, I am in the lobby. Okay, your location lobby. How do I view the area map? Oh, Moby... Moby Glass. Um, can I not click on anything in the movie glass? Oh, wait. Contracts manager, journal. What? Is the area map, like, a, like I have to go to? Oh, I have to go look at it. Okay. Right. Right. Do you just want me to look? Okay. Use the shopping kiosk at Kelto. Where's Kelto? Ah, okay. Shop. Or what am I looking for? Oh, I don't I don't have to get anything right now. Left bracket to accept, right bracket to decline. That's the other thing that I needed. Hold on. All right, I'm setting left bracket and right bracket to left and right on the D-pad. That that's what that's going to be for for now. Um I don't I get, I don't know if I'll have to if I make I was thinking about putting it here like uh here, but Left and right right now is probably fine. Um, this doesn't do anything, right? Doesn't. At least not that I can tell. Findings M. Uh nothing's on M. At least nothing in uh nothing in, in foot mode is on M. So we're gonna just get rid of that. Alright. Alright, back to uh Borderless mode. Um, how do I? Oh, I just walk away from it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. All right, all righty. Um, next thing, head to the MT Metro Loop Transit Terminal. 
down here. Free look. Wait, where's my free look? Oh, oh, that's to, it's just to turn your head. Okay. Head to the transit platform for NB International Spaceport. That's the train. 30 seconds. How do I know which one is? I would assume it's this one. Oh. Here we go. NBIS. Yo, the game is actually working. Like, it's actually working. Like... On, I'm on a shuttle like I, I'm pretty sure that like I'm on a shuttle and it's actually moving like this is not like a cutscene it's not like a freaking uh I'm actually moving across area it's kind of crazy it's kind of crazy this game this game is going to be the metaverse like I, I'm telling you this game is gonna be the metaverse this game is going to be the thing that um, when computers get strong enough, computers get strong enough and VR equipment uh, is, is good enough, or I, I, I guess VR equipment is, is fine the way it is now, but like um, this game, they're, dude, this game is going to be the thing that you're going to put the goggles on, you're going to lay down on the bed, and you're going to jack in and then like, you're going to be in Star Citizen. Like, you're just going to be in the game. Like, that's what it's going to be. I mean, I know it's, that's, that's like, the end. I think that's, like, the end goal. I th I'm pretty sure it's going to be the end goal. And and then, like, somewhere along the way, we're going to get the, the ability to be put on VR goggles and just experience the this world in VR, which I, I'm, I'm cool with. I don't know how close we are to that. I don't know how strong computers got to get until it's, like, a fluent experience you know what i'm saying uh locate fleet manager terminal i think it's upstairs so i'm going to take the elevator oh excuse me did i uh, was that loud i hit the microphone no no come back Yo, the door is closed so fast Gonna... Metro loop? Was that did I go up or down? Wait. That's a it's a thousand feet away. I'm, this is the wrong this is the wrong building. This way? Okay. Be sure to explore all you babbage have to offer. Whether it's I'm like looking for little the little blue square. Or the beauty of our award winning garden. This city of tomorrow has a lot going on. Retrieve tutorial ship. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. 
Remember, your belongings uh, are delivered. Keep a careful watch on all personal items. Vehicle is now being delivered, stored, retrieved the tutorial ship. Vehicles, your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Okay. Please visit us again. Hangar four. If I just get on the elevator, I assume. Oh, look, there's a person. Whole person. There's a person I'm in on the elevator. What is this? Is this is this hangar four? This is hangar six. Wait, this is hangar four. Is that my ship? Did he just did he just take it? That's not my ship, right? Oh, oh, wait, what? It's in another hangar? It's it's Where's the elevator? Where's the ele where did the elevator go? I'm in the wrong place. Oh, this is hangar six. I sort of said hangar four. Here we go. Prepare for takeoff. Uh Oh. Enter pilot seat. Okay. I did not I did not set um I do not I did not set any controls. What is this? Turn the ship system by pressing the cockpit's flight ready button using the interaction. Engine on. Flight ready. Aerospace. All systems online. Um, use interaction mode on the top left menu button on the multifunction displays. What? Uh, comms. Select comms, then contact your current location permission to take off. I took off. <gasps> oh, oh! This is this is not how you tutorial. They just was like, "Yo, just go." Hang your doors. Follow the checkpoints out of New Babbage. Retreat your landing gear, press N. Landing gear raised. To roll your ship to left or right, use Q and E respectively. Uh Okay. I just float here? I just float here, right? Okay. 
Uh, one second. All right, we're making a layer. I'm going to make a layer. I made I duplicated Star Citizen and made it Star Citizen Flight FL Flight. Um, and I changed these two buttons uh, to Q and E, right? Q and E roll. I put my landing gear button here, and I'll change these buttons as we go forward in this tutorial for the ship. But um, uh, but yeah, um, because like flight and stuff is going to be pretty interesting. Um, and then I'll say we're gonna make a we're gonna make a a layer. So I'm gonna use um I think I'm gonna use this button for now. I, we can just move it somewhere else. Um, but usually I I do hold with layering. But so we're gonna do layering and we're going to do uh Star Citizen FL. Um, set Star Citizen FL button twenty to switch back to current profile. We're gonna turn that on. A uh, switch held binds on layer change. Um, toggle on hold, apply. Okay, let's let's try. Let's see what this is, what this does. Okay, if I do this, it. Okay, okay. So, um, we're gonna change this toggle on hold off. So now. Wait, it's supposed to. I thought it was supposed to. We're gonna, oh, oh, I didn't hit apply. Okay, so now when I click it, when I click it, it changes to flight. When I click it again, it changes back to uh, on, uh, what's the name, on, on foot. So we're going to have foot and flight. Um, okay. Controls. Real quick, we're going to leave this like this for, for a moment. Um. And we're gonna move forward. So I click here. Okay, so I clicked it and now it's we're on flight. And I checked it by um rolling my my ship basically. So I just rolled my ship. If I click it again, it it changes it back, but now I can't roll. So when I click it again, now I can roll. So that's how I know. Um on on the other layer, if I had it on the wrong layer and I was on foot. I would just press like the crouch button to see if I could crouch. All right, let's move forward here. We got 7,000 meters to go reach this checkpoint. I don't know if we can pass the ground actually going. The HUD's left side gauges the velocity. The square uh, indicates current max flight speed, which can be adjusted with the mouse wheel. Oh, okay, I see it. So this red thing right here, this little red, this red bar over there, I, that's a terrible thing to show you, but that red bar right there is my velocity. So if I scroll up, the little uh, box next to it will increase my uh, velocity, so my speed. Velocity at max. Activate cruise control and maintain current speed with left alt. Is that another person? Left alt C. So we do. We're gonna do. Engage your afterburners, hold left shift. All right, now we're going fast. So when I let go of afterburners, I wonder, does it start going back up? Yes, it starts going back up. All right. I'm gonna burn the rest of this and see what happens. Okay, we, we're down to zero. <laughs> All 
Use quantum travel to reach Port Tressler. To travel great distances, enter quantum travel mode by pressing pressing B. Next, align with your destination. When your drive is fully spooled, press B to engage. So, going to um, let me let me pause here real quick. We're going to or we need a B button. We need a B button on flight. Uh. I'm gonna put B uh, here. I'm just gonna put B here. All right. Okay. How do we know it's fully spool? Oh, quantum drive system online, and it's in the middle. It says 90. Okay, spooling complete. B. Oh, hold B. Oh, hold B. I pressed B again. Turned it off. Okay. Can we turn it off with B? Uh, after exiting quantum travel, check your speed. Nearby, uh, that briefly, uh, your radar ping to briefly terrain hold, then press release B. B. Ah, okay, so, you see, oh, nope, wait, hold on, wait, pause first, or not pause, but bring up the menu first, V, so, I'm gonna put, I don't, I don't know what those are for, for, um, ships yet, but, I'm gonna put V there, ping area, So I died. I thought I was slowing down by pulling back on the joystick instead of holding, because I was holding forward. And I was like, oh, let me pull back on the joystick. And I was like, oh, I forgot to lower my velocity and not just turn. I was like, oh, I'll turn. And then and then I'll just get away. And then I just kind of floated into the thing that I was supposed to be landing on. So... Let me I, let me go get back to that area. Well, the good news is I I know my way to this place, um, already, <laughs> to go down here to the metro station. <laughs> I didn't like I like it's pointing here, but I really didn't have to to even like look for real for real. Is this to that's to the commons? And I think next next one is arriving in 15, 14, 13, 3, 2, 1. Nice. Nice. Oh, we can sit. Makes sense.
really waiting on the train, bro. We'll be leaving the station momentarily. All right. Exit. Well, I don't have to do this part, right? I think I can just go. Oh, fleet manager terminal. That's this, right? Wait. So I was told to get off of here. IBS terminal or NBIS terminal. Okay. From all of us at Microtech, welcome to the new Babbage Interstellar Space Force. Ah, this looks like the other area. Okay. Welcome From all to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Welcome to the new Babbage Interstellar Space Force. Your insurance File claim has been sent. Pay expedited fee? How much money do I have? For I'll wait. Alright. Your insurance claim has been sent. Remember. Your belongings belong to oh, you. Oh, I still have time left. Oh, the, the thing it exited out, and I thought it was done. But we're still waiting. We're still waiting here. One minute and, one minute and 16 seconds. But it's actually pretty much nothing for you Ready through the power of editing. Three, two, one, plaza. and we're done. Your vehicle has been delivered. Retrieved. Vehicle's Let's not die this time. Now we're going to Hangar 6. That's what the hangar that we went to the first again. time. That was wrong, and the guy got a new ship and <laughs> out. Okay, two two hangar six. Okay, Let's try this one more time. I'm not gonna lie, uh, <laughs> dying and coming back and doing this again reinforced in my brain what I'm supposed to be doing. So. <laughs> Like, it feels good to know that I, like, where to go, and then, like, getting to the hangar, getting your ship, and then, like, taking off, and, um... Take off, complete. And, and, and trying the... Oh! And trying this one more time, and not hitting anything. Okay, so, we're going to... All the checkpoints out of New Babbage. Okay. Where check? Oh, there we go. All right, we're gonna increase increase velocity. We can hit afterburners. We can get there faster, and uh, let's go to follow all these markers and then try not to crash into the thing again. Next one. All right. We're gonna quantum travel here, and yeah, quantum travel. Let it spin up. We're gonna watch our speed by not accelerating. Spooling complete. Ooh, that's cool. That's cool. Landing gear raised. Okay, let's bring down the velocity. Too close. Okay, let's recall comms. Too close. Oh wait, no, no. Okay, so 
use radar ping to briefly highlight. Okay, we gotta use radar ping. I don't know what that does. Find out later, probably. We're gonna, we're gonna move closer here. Okay, so engaging the, the thrusters with forward um, only goes up to whatever your max velocity is. Okay, that's good to know. So, all right, we're 17,000 kilometers, or 17 kilometers away. I'm trying to get close enough that where it tells us to, uh, Okay. Okay. Proceed with caution. We don't want to slam into it. 10,000 kilometers away. Or excuse me, 10, 9,000 meters. Okay, so they just popped up. They just popped up on the, on the, the thing over here. Port Tressler. Please proceed to assign landing bay. Okay. Marker in your HUD indicates uh, sign landing bay to decrease your maximum velocity as you draw near. Use mouse wheel. Okay, we're not we're not moving at all. Contact the station. Request permission. Uh, by using the me. Left Alt N, so Port Tressler. Well, you know they they said we can land already, right? Okay, how close do we have to be? Before we can uh, start the docking. Right, 4,000 meters. I pass something? I can't see with this thing in the way. Ah. I did have to fly around. Through that. Obstruct impounding vehicle. I'm I'm not trying to block the flight, but I'm trying to get to my parking spot. Lower your landing gear, press N. Landing gear deployed. To land, descend using left control. Oh, I gotta fly in there and land? Oh, sh... Oh, this... It look, it's bigger than it looks, I think. Oh, my God. near landing pad you can also by holding in ah there we go yeah there we go landing complete oh we did it 
You did it. Store the tutorial ship at Port Trust. Exit the seat by holding the Y button. All right, I'm back on foot, so I'm gonna hit the uh, thumb button, and now I should be able to, yeah, crouch. Because if I if I hit the thumb button and try to crouch, I can't crouch because I'm in flight mode. So to leave flight mode, hit the thumb button. Now I'm in walk mode. Do I have to wait? What enter the elevator, use the interaction mode. Wait, where's the elevator thing? Oh, here it is. And we're going to where? Lobby, I guess. Wait, are we supposed to do that? I'll use the fleet manager terminals to store. Where's the fleet manager terminal? Oh, here it is. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Store. Then be able to access your own ships. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Okay, this is my ship. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Please visit us again. Goodbye. Uh, check the journal. Traversing the verse. Congratulations, you've completed the Star Citizen tutorial and are ready to explore the universe. Now it's up to you to decide what your life in space will be like. The contract manager on your Moby Glass will uh, contain many different opportunities. Uh, I got some stuff. Contract available over. Huh, okay. Got some money too. Uh, over our initiative, Intel Raid. Uh, however, if you'd rather forge your own path, feel free to use the star map in the Moby Glass uh, and explore all the Stanton system as uh, has to offer, from the snowy wasteland of Microtech to the floating city of Orsan. Uh, uh, there is still much for you to learn and discover. Uh, if you ever need further assistance, you can seek guidance uh, of experienced players through the guide system on Spectrum uh, on the Robert Space Industries website. Uh, read the helpful post in the online knowledge base or ask for a helping hand in chat. Your journal is also val a valuable resource containing entries that summarize and elaborate on everything covered in the tutorial. Uh, but once you adventure beyond the major cities and space stations, take care. Outside of these protected armistice zones, you will encounter many dangers in the search for profit. Whether your next steps uh, take whether your next steps take you safe uh, where oh does it say <laughs> wherever your next steps take you safe flying okay practice makes perfect if you're interested in practicing uh flying or experiencing combat uh without risking your ship star citizen features an arcade mode called arena commander as an option in the game's main menu all right moby glass uh, your MobiGlass personal computer features a variety of functions and apps essential for life in the verse. Below Welcome. is a list Welcome. of all apps uh, listed in your in, in the order they appear. They are accessible via the icons at the bottom of your MobiGlass. Home, Comlink, uh, uh, Vehicle Loadout Manager. Uh, you can like read these if you want to. Knickknacks. Uh, locate any assets you have stored across the verse. Okay. Skyline access star map. Mo Trader. A UAC any player, uh, party member. Okay, contract manager, uh, view accept and manage contracts. Contract manager divided in following. Okay, uh, I assume those are like missions you can use to go do stuff and earn money. Uh, 
Vehicle maintenance services, journal, Delphi, track your reputation with individual organizations or contracts. All right. Delphi, ship maintenance stuff, con, low trader, uh, secure the community. Oh, this is how much I have. Um, skyline, this is the star map. Uh, Knickknacks, Microtech, weapons, uh, vehicle loadout manager, com link. All right. So uh, that concludes the the uh, Star Citizen tutorial. I I've never been able to actually complete the tutorial in any like or do anything meaningful in this game until now. So. Maybe I'm going to look up some, like, uh, optimization things for the game to see if I can, like, optimize it to be, you know, more smooth, better. Um, but currently, it's playable. <laughs> and I have a Ryzen 9 39, excuse me, Ryzen 9 5900X, uh, a RTX 3080, and I have uh, 32 gigs of RAM in my computer. Um, and I'm also, uh, I have it basically mirrored to two screens so it's it's one it's my main screen and then it's mirrored to my capture card so that my capture card can put it up on the obs on my other computer so that's that's the explanation of stuff i have if there's any stuff you know about like optimizing this uh this game um if you know some stuff please do let me know in the comments things that i could do to maybe optimize it i will also be looking up like videos on optimization for the game I don't know like if I'm gonna be like super like diving deep into the game or not because you know I start a lot of games um, I just want to experience all these different types of games and find out um, which ones are like for me you know what I mean um, sometimes I just like opening up a game and getting into it but there are some games that I want to maybe like I don't know in the future like dive deeper into but if it's something that I can just open up and go do a couple of things and, and have a little bit of fun in the game that's that's cool too so um maybe maybe i'll you know dive back in i literally just opened this game because i was like oh i was like is this game still on my computer i knew it was on one of my hard drives somewhere i found the launcher updated the game and launched it and i was like let me record this and then since the um you know it was a new new character and everything i was like all right well i'll just do the, the tutorial or whatever and um you know be and get get acquainted with the uh with the everything and uh, also set it up for for azeron so um yeah it's been it's been pretty cool and uh yeah maybe maybe more star citizen in the future at some point i, I don't know but we, we've got a lot of games coming down the pipeline so uh it's hard to it's hard to promise um a lot of uh from one game you know what i mean um i still have to still gotta play remnant 2 <laughs> i gotta find time to play more remnant 2 uh but yeah all right if you like this video please do like it um and subscribe to the channel uh to help me out because we are approaching 1000 subscribers uh on my youtube channel and i would really appreciate every subscription up, up until a thousand counts any, any, even subscriptions after a thousand count but i say that because a thousand subscribers is what every youtuber is like shooting for to, to get full, you know, uh, partner program access with, like, AdSense and all that kind of stuff. So that's why the number 1,000 is so important. And then, like, after that, of course, thou uh, uh, subscribers is a uh, pretty much a, a like, um, uh, what, do, what do they call it? A, um, 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 a cosmetic metric. It's just a cosmetic metric. Because most of the people that are gonna watch your stuff are probably not subscribed anyway, um, and and I'm and I'm super grateful for the people that watch my stuff, because um, you don't have to. There's so many other things on the internet to watch, um, and if you watch my stuff, it's it means a lot. So uh, thank you. Um, please do subscribe, like the video if you liked it, and uh, comment. Tell me if there's any um, stuff I can do to optimize the game to make it run even smoother than it is currently. Um, if not, then, you know, it's, it's fine. And I'll just have to upgrade until, <laughs> until it runs as smooth as possible. Um, all right. Peace.
Thanks. Thanks for watching. I'm out of here. Bye.